Hello and welcome to the Maldives. Two people got it right. And this is Maldives. It's not like you imagine it, is it? But hey, it's all about the real people and how people live. And you see, I'm not wearing a short top because this is a Muslim country and um, it would be rude to the locals to wear something short. Although I am wearing shorts. Hello! <laughs> so, try to keep my eyes covered with the dress. <laughs> yes, um, how have you been? I know that some of you have been worried due to the plane crash in Laos. I have not heard about that from the news, from Thai radio news that I listen over the internet in, in the morning. So they haven't said anything. Must have been some other airline, not Thai airline. Oh, you know what? Thai airlines had two crashes in September, I think in, in the period of two, two or three weeks. So I guess if they had one more crash, it would not be on the news at all. They try to cover it up somehow. Yeah, this is a cart, and I think it's a perfect place to do the split. And my legs just fit, so it's perfectly designed for the split. Could be riding it too. <laughs> Can you hear the music? Local music. The food here is really nice, and the people are very friendly. I like the people, I like the food. The forecast, the weather forecast said that it is going to rain, but it's nice and sunny today and I think I got sunburned on the beach swimming. I didn't intend to get tanned. Because, you know, living in Thailand and everybody says that you should keep your skin white and not get tanned. Although Westerners are, as soon as they arrive in, like, to a sunny country, they go to the beach and get tanned, get tanned and get sunburned and tanned and you know, peel and then get tanned again. So what is the huge deal about getting tanned? I'm trying not to get tanned because in Asia white skin is considered beautiful because they all have darker skin. Um, what else do we have on this island? A couple of motorbikes, um, a prison, school, um, a phone tower, a port and everything that you need and you, you can go around the island in about 15 minutes <laughs> around the whole island in about 15-20 minutes on foot it's a pretty small island and I was talking to a local girl yesterday and she was saying that like she's 18 and they're allowed to have boyfriends and girlfriends and they're allowed to kiss and hold hands but nothing else until they're married and usually the age for marriage is like 23 they say and um, what else did they say? interesting what was interesting that they don't really want to leave and live in another country I heard that a lot in Thailand, that a lot of Thai girls would want to meet a foreigner and go live in the States or in Europe and it was considered really cool, but here they, they're so in love with their islands, with the country, that they don't really dream of going somewhere else and living somewhere else, which is quite admirable. I like it when you don't have a syndrome that the grass is always green on the other side. Yay! <laughs> I would love it if somebody pushed me around the island. This would be such a good method of transporting around, but maybe not. Maybe it would have a horse. Ah, one surprising thing. On this island, there are no dogs and no cats, no chickens and no livestock, nothing at all. Um, didn't see anything. The only birds that are around, there are some, some little birds that sing, and there are a lot of black crows. There are no seagulls, just black crows. And black crows are really cheeky. They steal food from your bag when you sit on the beach. <laughs> and I think they scared away all the other birds. But I really wonder why they don't have any cats and dogs. It must be something to do with the religion, I guess. Is anybody familiar with this religion? Today is Friday and for Muslims apparently Friday is a special day so around lunchtime all the shops were closed and 
they go to pray and you can hear the prayer from a loudspeaker. You can hear it around the whole island. But, um, they're very friendly to non-Muslims as well, so don't have a problem with it. Interesting religion, I'd love to know more about it. Hmm. Maybe this is the time to learn. And I have my second lesson today. Today we were reading and writing, so the teacher, my local Maldivian teacher, uh, he wrote some words, some simple words in the local characters in the local language and I had to read them. I think I got about 70-80% right, which was a real achievement, so exciting. And then he asked me to write some words as well, so he would say a word and I would have to write it down in local characters. <laughs> That's harder than you think. <laughs> when I would write it wrong, he would say, No, I said that. And I was like, That's what I wrote. No, 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 this is different. Still, with every language, there is subtle difference when we hear it exactly the way they say it and we think it's right, but it's actually exactly like something totally, totally different. We're going to do the nose toe thing again. Okay, nose and toes. And inhale, come on, do the stretching with me, hands up, you don't have to reach your toes with your nose, but at least do the stretching. You've been sitting in front of the computer for a while now, at least for the while that you're watching this video, so stretching is always good. And nose, I always have trouble reaching. Yes, on the yellow trailer thing. And their benches are really cool. The benches are hung on the tree and this is what they look like. If you look that way, you can see the trees with the benches. See over there, they're like hammocks. Do you see them? I'm not sure if they can stand in there. Anyway, this is enough for today and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.